Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're talking about image optimization and how we do it on our blog. We were asked on our website, pressavenue.com, we have a just ask area. And it's basically how do you simply squish something down and put it on your site? So this will be for single image optimization. We do it on a per blog post basis, and we'll do a different video on bulk optimizations. Uh, so let's get to it. So here's the site. Again, just hit that just ask. And I will say one last thing. We created a Facebook group where it's easier to ask questions and interact and get help from people besides us. Uh, so you can go ahead and click facebook.com slash group slash press avenue. All right, enough of that. So we will get to squoosh. So squoosh is S Q U O O S H dot app. And it's actually developed by Google Chrome Labs. And they have a little thing at the bottom where you can view all the code via GitHub. So I'll zoom in here. So you can see it all here. Um, so there it is there. They do pull requests. They have think something about privacy and what's uploaded. Of course, you have to upload the image to their site. So there's the code. So you can peruse through the code if you want. But we're just going to go through the image optimization itself. So here it is, you simply drag an image in, and then it squooshes it automatically, and then you can fine tune the settings. So just to show you, they have a few examples at the bottom. So they have a large photo, which is 2.8 megabytes. So when you load it, you have this, I think it's a red panda. You can see on the left hand side is the original image, and on the right hand side is this smooshed image. Right out of the gate, the left hand side's 2.79 megabytes, and on the right hand side, it's 859 kilobytes, which is 69% smaller. And then also, this is being recorded on a 4K screen, uh, so it's really zoomed in compared to what people would probably see on your website. So if I shrink it down, so I just click 60, let's do half, so 50% of the quality that existed before. So now it's working. What's nice is it's not your machine working. So if I move it here, it's really hard to tell the difference. But if you zoom in, it gets all pixelated. You can kind of see it's really hard to tell. It might be even harder to tell on YouTube when it's uploaded. But right on the eyelid, you can see just a little blur. But this has cut out 83% of the image size. And ultimately, if you're using a huge sweeping image like this for a cover photo or a hero image and you have something overlaid on the top of it, this, this is great to smash it down this much. And then you can resize it. So we're going to show you a real world example of how we use this. So we're going to go ahead and hit back. And what we do is we create a uh, YouTube thumbnail and a blog thumbnail within uh, a program called Affinity Photo. So it's similar to Photoshop. They do just about the same thing, except Photoshop has a monthly fee and these guys have a one-time fee. So the icon is there, Affinity Photo, and I'll link it in the description below and in the blog post. All right, so I have a YouTube thumbnail and it's a JPEG and it's 734 kilobytes. So I click and hold and drag it into this window. I'm just holding the mouse down to show you, but it lights up this kind of greenish tint and I let it go. So there's our classic YouTube uh, thumbnails. Uh, the original is 734. Right out of the gate, it uses Moz JPEG at 75% quality. And now it's 89% smaller, which is huge. So I always try to go under 100 kilobytes um, because I'm on a dedicated server. I use a CDN. I use caching. I could still probably go smaller, but I do use a lot of text. So you can see here. Um, the text, maybe there's a little blur. Go way in. Oh, my face is too close. My photo. So I don't know if you can see it, but right here on the P, you can see there's a little bit of color variation on the smash down one. So I simply just turn this up. And I make sure to try to keep it around 100. So there it is there. And also I'm zoomed in 246%. So if I come down... I don't know why it's at 101, 100. Oh. Oh, it doesn't work. There we go. All right, it's clearly messed up. 
Um, <laughs> but there it is there. So now I'm at 107 kilobytes and I simply hit download and then I upload it to my blog. This way my server's not doing the image optimization. I'm doing it right out of the gate and I can fine tune it and tweak it. Um, I'll do one more. This one's a ping, it's the same image. I just drag it in, it reloads it. The original ping was 909 kilobytes and now it's, oh wait, maybe it didn't do it again. Let's start over. Yeah, it's 909 and now it's 79.8 kilobytes as a ping, which is incredible. If you look here, keep zooming in, um, it looks just about the same. I think I'll actually keep this one. So 79 kilobytes, incredible. I'll go ahead and hit download. It downloads it. All it does is it takes the name of the image. In this case, it's replace a plugin, custom post types, beaver builder slash press avenue. And then it puts a one on the end. So a lot of mine say one on the end of the images. It's because I've smashed them down in here and I haven't taken off the one. All right, so that's it for image optimization for a single image for your blog post. If you have any questions about this using Squoosh or you want to know about anything else within WordPress, freelancing, or using WordPress for your business, let us know in the comments below. Additionally, you can join us on Facebook or on our site. And if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also let us know in the comments. We love to interact with you. Thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching this video on image optimization. If you have any questions about it or WordPress or anything else related, please leave them in the comments below. Right below me is a square. You can click to subscribe to the channel and see videos like this one. Right next to it will bring you to our website so you can get to that Just Ask area. And over here are uploads just for you.